Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, basically we will see how you can add a very simple on-click listener in Android Studio. We will create a simple button and we will perform an on-click listener on that particular button and which will drive a message on our Android app. My name is Dr. Shan Vardi. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe to the channel. You will find that on my channel, there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP, Mail Scripting, Maya, Maya Embedded Language, uh, 3D graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and receive notifications regularly. Let's begin. Now, I've created this default app. If you are uh, you have been using Android Studio, you know, you just have to start, create a default app. You get the default information available. This is uh, Hello World created. So I said, okay, I don't mind this. So I will leave the Hello World uh, somewhere at the top. Okay. And just let me rename this string to um, on click listener app, right? So on click listener app, simple name. So what I do is now I create a button and let me drag and drop my button here and what i would want to do is i want to assign it constraints so i have cre i've created this button so what i can do is very quickly come here and i will say constraint horizontally so it will the it will add the horizontal constraint and i can say add vertically and the vertically constraints are added so now i've created my button what i want that when i click on this button a message pops up as a toast so what i'll do i will go inside the main activity class okay so now in order to add the action listener on a button that when you click on this button something should happen in order to do that let's go inside the java inside the java we know that we have something called main activity class within the main activity class we have an on create event that is executed whenever the class is executed or the app is executed for the first time on create event is executed now we will write basically on click listener on a button so first thing we need to do is we need to write button for example btn uh, is equals to find view by id r dot id dot and the button name so the button name is if button i will just use button but if i go back into main activity i select the button here i will use for example btn uh, okay okay so this becomes my button okay so if i've renamed it if it asks me refactor i will say yes refactor it i go back inside my java now it is button okay here so make sure you rename the button so it's more easy to handle if you get an error here android is very cool with this just press alter enter it will pop up a message and solve the issue automatically for you okay so alter enter remember the short key it will either give you a uh, solution or will solve this problem for you automatically then i come here and now what i need to do is i will write button this is where the tricky part is on this button now what we want we want an on click action listener so that once a user clicks on this particular button certain event should occur so for that we need to assign it something called set on click listener now set on click listener is a method that is basically doing that it's listening to this button so what should happen and it will listen that uh, at moment when somebody clicks on it, what should happen? So it's listening for that event to occur. It's listening for that event to trigger. Okay. So on we what we did, we did set on click listener, a method that is waiting for that event to occur, a click to occur. Once that click occur, what should we do? We create a new anonymous class view on click listener. As soon as we press enter, automatically cop co code pops up. So you don't have to remember it line by line. You write new and automatically we or click on listener comes up, you press enter the code is autofill now what this basically is it's a java's code of creating an anonymous class or sometimes we call it a runtime object at the runtime when an event occurs this method executes when it executes as an argument within that method it needs an object but instead of passing it an object we have created an object at runtime using the new keyword this is called a runtime object or an anonymous class object that creates uh, sorry an runtime object that executes at the runtime so at the runtime this object is created within this object we have overridden the on click event of that particular code okay and so this method will execute and it will pass the argument to this uh, object which will in turn govern the activity on our basic button so hopefully that's little explainable but this is what we need to do set on click listener event inside it we write new view on click listener for every button we write this event now for the default we need to execute a simple message so the message can be using t o s t toast toast dot we say make text create the text on the screen 
on this screen what we need we need the context of our my cover current application so i said get application context what this basically does is that it will tell our on click live event that the current running app get the context of it so it will call the current running app and gets its context so you can print the message on that particular current app okay then i can give the message the message will be the bu button has been CLICK clicked and then comma and then I write to you oh, toast dot uh, length let me make it long okay and then dot show semicolon so what this method is toast is basically uh, alert message in our Android it will we call this object dot make text the method within that get application context get the context of the current application running pass this message the button has been clicked the message length needs to be long because it should occupy the entire screen or it can be short as well if it's just okay cancel user not found password not found and dot show means activity should be performed so when i click on play let's see what happens okay so button and my app is now running and what i need to do is now as soon as i click on a button a message pop up the button has been clicked so a simple on click listener is applied on a particular button for that first we need to get the context of a button so find view by id means find the id of a button that is in a layout file now somebody uh, has been asking me why we use find view ib basically re remember you are writing the code in java which is the backend code java code completely different the layout has been designed in something called xml file which is an xml file saved completely separate so what we need to do is we need to fetch this button from this xml file and give it to the java code in our backend java file to do that we need to use find view by id r dot id r is a class name in java dot id is a subclass dot that particular component that's available in the view so we have said that go inside this view file the layout file and find me an element called uh, this button okay and because i know it's a button i have assigned it to a button class right that's what we need to do and that's it and then we write button this variable name that set on click listener means that listen to an event that occurs so what we're doing is we're trying to trigger an event means when user clicks on it an event is triggered so set on click listener method is called inside it you just write new space and capital v this view on click listener pops up press enter the entire code is written this is basically an uh, runtime object within this runtime object we have overridden an on click method this on click method basically will be executed whenever user clicks on a particular method so all the code of actual event goes inside this thing hopefully it's understandable if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel and leave your comments below what else you want to learn about android see you around